Hello everyone, Sableye here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at the top Pokemon in the competitive scene and ranking them based on whether or not they can actually cook. You guys can see the tier list on there. We've got our seven categories. Yeah, we got our seven categories right there ranging from Master Chef to being the food themselves. And we're going to start things off. We're going to start off with Fluttermane. Now, Fluttermane is a Pokemon that, as we all know, is incredibly, incredibly strong in VGC. But I think, I don't know if it can actually cook that well. I feel like Fluttermane would definitely be able to, like, move around the kitchen, probably create some sort of decent meal with, just by trying. So I'm going to go with no their way around the kitchen. You know, I don't think Fluttermane is one of those master chef materials. So Fluttermane knows their way around the kitchen. And moving on to Ogre Pond. Now, Ogre Pond, I feel... Like, Ogre Pond is somewhere between Master Chef and can definitely cook. There is some point in between there that Ogre Pond sits. I'm going to rank all the four Ogre Ponds together, guys. There was literally zero point in separating them. So, I'm going to go with can definitely cook. I don't think it's quite at the Master Chef level yet. But I can definitely see Ogre Pond using its, like, cudgel to, like, stir a pot of, like, soup or something like that. So, Ogre Pond can definitely cook 1,000%. Now, Iron Hands, guys... Iron Hands can cook. It, it can do it all, okay? Hands like that, it's breaking like six, seven eggs at once. It's making a master meal, no problem. Iron Hands, 100% Master Chef. Absolutely confirmed to be the Master Chef. Now, Tornadus, on the other hand, this thing cannot cook, okay? Tornadus is very close to burning the kitchen down, just on the amount of times it's going to miss bleak wind storms. Um, and because of that, it's not only going to burn the food, um, I think I'm gonna go burns the food because I don't think it's quite on the level where it burns the kitchen down I don't think it's that careless because sometimes they do hit their bleak wind storms So tornadoes is gonna go and burns the food Urshifu rapid strike on the other hand there is no way Urshifu rapid strike can cook Urshifu rapid strike is 100% burning the kitchen down I don't care what you say about it being a water type. It is burning the kitchen down There is no world in which I Rapid Strike Urshifu is going to be able to make a meal without blowing up the kitchen. So it's going and burning the kitchen down. Okay. Rillaboom. Rillaboom feels like the type of guy to be like, you know, that pivot Pokemon. And because it's a pivot Pokemon and it tends to flowchart very well, I'm going to put it in can follow a recipe. Because I think if you told Rillaboom what to do, it would probably be capable of doing it. I don't think like... The same for Urshifu Rapid Strike, you know, whereas Rillaboom, if I told it, hey, crack four eggs, put it in a pot, stir the pot, put some sauce in, it would probably be fine. It would be able to make a meal. You know what? It can follow a recipe. Shen Pao, on the other hand, this Pokemon is way too chaotic, okay? Shen Pao tries to crack an egg, cracks the egg, food goes everywhere, okay? Too much aggression in this little, uh, in this little cat. I guess it's a cat. Is it a cat? I don't even know. But it's burning the food. Um, and, and for no reason other than the fact that it's going to be like... It's just going to cook it too long. It's just going to burn the food, okay? 100% burning the food. Landorus Therian. This is similar suit to Rillaboom, I think. I think if I told Landorus what it needed to do, it could 100% follow a recipe. No problem. That's where it's going. Now, Heatran, on the other hand, see, I think it's easy to say that Heatran is going to burn the food or burn the kitchen. But Heatran, I, I feel like Heatran can cook. You know, I feel like Heatran's the type of guy to say, hey, throw a few steaks on my back and, like, let those sizzle real nicely. They'll be good in, like, five minutes, ready to go. So, I'm going to go with Heatran can definitely cook. I don't think it's a master chef, but I think it has the tools available definitely to be able to cook pretty well. Now, Hisui and Arcanine. I don't think this thing can cook. However, Hisui and Arcanine and the fact that it technically no longer exists in the current Pokemon timeline... I feel like in that point, I, ha I have to put it as, is the food. Like, I, I feel like I'm, my hands are tied here. Like, it has to be the food. It obviously has gone extinct for a reason. So, Hisuian Arcanine is going to be the food. First Pokemon in that category. Dragonite? Dragonite, I want... See, I don't want to bully both Dragonite and Shenpao. But I really don't think Dragonite can cook. Like, like, I just look at this guy and I'm just like, it can't cook. Like, I don't think, like... <laughs> I don't think I could justify putting it in any of the top categories. But at the same time, is it going to burn the food? Maybe not, but... Uh, okay, you know what? You know what? For for lack of a better term, we'll go neutral. We'll go Dragonite can follow a recipe, okay? 
for lack of a better term, we'll go Dragonite can follow a recipe. Chiyu, 100% burning the whole kitchen down. is gonna be like, ah, nah, throw the steaks over there, I'll heat them up with my flames. And then just absolutely burn the kitchen down. There's no in between. Chiyu is burning the kitchen down, it's over. Uh, Urshifu, dark, or single strike, whatever proper term you guys want to use, but... See, I think this thing is burning the food as well. There's no way Urshifu Dark is cooking anything. At least not successfully. Okay? Like, it, it's burning the food, guys. There, there's nothing else to say. It's burning the food. <laughs> Indeedee, on the other hand. Okay, Indeedee, 1,000% Master Chef. Indeedee is 100% a Master Chef when it comes to the kitchen. Indeedee can 100% make a couple meals. It knows what's going on. It would probably be hired as a personal chef 1,000% of the time. Roaring Moon, on the other hand. See, I feel like Roaring Moon would be able to get around the kitchen fairly well and kind of be able to come up with some a few crazy a few crazy pieces, you know? It's, it's always supporting people well, so I feel like in order to support somebody, you need to be able to, like, I don't know. It just feels like being able to cook would be, like, follow suit with being able to be a support piece. So I'm going... Uh, Roaring Moon knows their way around the kitchen. That's what we're going with. Uh, what do we have now? We have Sinistra. Okay, so here's the, here's the thing. I don't think Sinistra can cook. I think Sinistra being a, like a matcha tea, I think Sinistra is the food. Once again, not just because it's a food Pokemon, but it, it probably can't cook. It's a tea. It, it, it's going to be the food. There's no, no in between there. Sinistra is the food. Locking that in right now. Okay. Armorouge. As much as I want to say this fire type is similar to Chiyu and is going to burn the kitchen, I feel like Trick Room is such a methodical game plan that like if I told Armourouge to throw chicken on the barbecue and cook it till an internal temperature of whatever it needs to be at, I feel like Armourouge could 100% follow a recipe, no problem. That's where Armourouge is going. Farigraph? Farigraph is too clumsy, okay? Farigraph is going to burn down the kitchen Absolutely no, no questions asked. Farigraf is 1000% going to burn the kitchen. There is no in between. Okay, it's gonna try and like turn the oven on, it's gonna slip on its four giraffe legs, smash its head into the microwave, whole kitchen's on, on fire. No doubt in my mind that's what's happening with the giraffe, okay? Amoongus on the other hand, probably. I'm gonna go with can follow a recipe. I, I was gonna give it can definitely cook, but I feel like it would be a little bit too clumsy to like properly finish off those meals. But I feel like if you can tell Amoongus what it needs to do in the kitchen, it's gonna be capable of doing it. So I'm gonna go Amoongus can follow a recipe. Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle feels like a Pokemon that definitely is not a master chef. I feel like Iron Bundle is one of those people that like tries to cook a meal and then give, hands it over to you, but you just feel bad telling them it's really, really bad, even though the food's not amazing. So it's like, you just tell them their food is good, and because of that, it has this like sense of self where it's like, yo, my food is flames, I'm I'm an amazing chef. So because of that, I'm gonna put it in knows their way around the kitchen, even though it probably really doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, Ursaluna Blood Moon. You know, I could see this. I could see Ursaluna Blood Moon in a little chef's hat, just, you know, absolutely being an amazing chef. I'm gonna go with Ursula Blood Moon Master Chef. Why? I don't know. I think I might throw Torkoal up there too, but Torkoal might not have the same like culinary expertise as like the Blood Moon or the Iron Hands. I'm gonna throw Torkoal in can definitely cook. I, I definitely think Torkoal is one of those Pokemon that would be able to control the flames on its body to be able to utilize its poke to be able to utilize like to utilize that in the kitchen, so to speak, right? Like, I feel like, similar to the heat trend, it's like, yeah, throw the steak there, I'll, I'll cook it up perfectly for you, you know? Just, that's that's how I feel like what Torkoal is going to go with. Uh, Alolan Ninetales. See, I think Alolan Ninetales can also definitely cook. And, and only because... And only because of the fact that, like, its attack stat is just so low that it wouldn't have the capability to burn the food or burn the kitchen down even if it tried to. So, like, I definitely think, like, <laughs> Nine Tails can definitely cook. I don't know. I don't know what that reasoning was, but there it is. Cresselia as well. Cresselia is known to have that helping hand to be a huge support piece. 
it probably knows their way around the kitchen, like levitating around the kitchen, all like that. I just don't think can definitely use like its psychic powers, you know, to like make food work. But I definitely don't think it's like it's got like the secret sauce when it comes to cooking. It, it, it they know their way around the kitchen, but they're definitely no but by no means any sort of master chef. Now Don Dozo. Don Dozo is burning the kitchen down, okay? Don Dozo waits for food to arrive to him. Don Dozo is not going to sit here and try to cook a meal for itself. If Don Dozo is swimming and Don Dozo sees food, Don Dozo is going to go get food. But Don Dozo is definitely not going to make food for itself. It's burning the kitchen down if it ever tried to. 1000%. King Gambit? I want to put King Gambit in MasterChef. I think you give King Gambit like a whisk and some sort of like... I don't know, like some like pastry restaurant. <laughs> like I, I definitely could see King Gambit like just like owning a very successful pastry chain. I don't know why I see that, but I definitely see King Gambit owning a very successful pastry pastry chain. It's a master it's a master chef, one thousand percent. Grim Snarl. Now this one might surprise you guys, because I feel like a lot of you are like, oh Grim Snarl's gonna burn the kitchen now. Grim Snarl's gonna burn the food. I don't think so. I I, I really think Grim Snarl is the type of Pokemon that would know their way around the kitchen. Like, kind of like he presents mean in person, but he's always got that softer side, so to speak. I think Grimmsnarl knows their way around the kitchen. They can 100% cook a meal given the right uh, right circumstances. Now, we're going to close this one off with Tatsugiri. And just because Tatsugiri feels like it should be on is the food category. Like, it has to be an is the food category. I don't think I can put it anywhere else. Like, do I think it can cook? Honestly, yeah, probably. I do think Tatsugiri could probably cook. But I definitely think more often than not, Tatsugiri just ends up being the food. And so we're going to throw it in is the food. But with that, guys, that's going to be it for me. Please let me know if you guys think I missed any cool Pokemon. Obviously, I was basing this off basing this off of the top Pokemon in the format. But let me know down below what Pokemon you would slot into what category. Really curious to hear your all opinions. That was not English. But like I said, curious to hear what you guys have to think. No, still not English. Wow, uh, talking, turns out talking about Pokemon and trying to slot them into a competitive cooking tier list messes with your brain. But anyways, let me know what y'all think down below. Had a ton of fun recording this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to leave a like and, su uh, and subscribe. It really does help with the channel. And of course, I really do appreciate it. But with that, I am going to stop rambling now and I will catch you all in a future video.